Switching into five live this Saturday as Manchester United look for a victory over Chelsea to keep them in the Premiership running. That's this Saturday at 12 on 909 and 693 AM, BBC Radio 5 Live. Sunday on BBC One and it's T-minus and counting at 5.50 with Tom Hanks and the crew of Apollo 13. Houston, we have a problem. Then at 8, it's down to earth with brand new series Born and Bred. Trust me, I'm a doctor. James Boland welcomes home prodigal son Michael French. This takes me back. Baldrick! Blackadder and Baldrick hold history hostage and Blackadder back and forth at 8.55. A bit of choppy choppy is the only apt reaction. That's Sunday evening on BBC One. David Dimbleby hosts Question Time from Leeds in five minutes on BBC One. Now a budget response from Shadow Chancellor Michael Howard. Good evening. Not long ago, one of my constituents came to see me to talk about the NHS. He's 83 and suffers from cancer. Last year, his GP told him he needed to see a neurologist. The waiting time for his appointment was 83 weeks. Yes, 83 weeks, over a year and a half. And that wasn't for an operation or admission to hospital, that was just to see a consultant. Sadly, this isn't an isolated case. It's happening up and down the country. People waiting to see a consultant, waiting to get into hospital and waiting for an operation. The lucky few are being sent abroad for treatment. That sort of thing makes me angry. I don't think that my constituents, my neighbours and my family should be expected to put up with it. I don't think your family should be expected to put up with it either. We all deserve better. We all agree with the ideals of the NHS. We all want to see a system that gives people first-class health care when they need it, regardless of their ability to pay. The trouble is we are further from delivering that level of care today than at any time since the NHS was founded. But things don't need to be this bad. In other countries they do things differently and better. In Germany there are no waiting lists. And in Denmark you have a legal guarantee of treatment within four weeks of seeing your doctor. Yet this government says we have nothing to learn from the rest of the world. Conservatives think we do. As a country, we clearly do need to spend more on health care. But without change, money alone won't deliver the improvements we all want to see. In Scotland, we already spend more on health. But waiting times have been getting longer. Spending across the country has already risen by a third. But despite the best efforts of dedicated doctors and nurses, the NHS has got worse. Now Gordon Brown is proposing to raise taxes yet again. This will further undermine the ability of business to create jobs. And it will hit hard many critical workers on whom we rely to improve public services. For example, as a result of yesterday's budget, a nurse consultant will be nearly £7 a week worse off. Labour are demanding more of your money but they don't know how to make the NHS and other public services better. Simply putting more money into the existing system isn't the answer. This budget was just more talk, more taxes, no change and no difference. British people deserve better. That's why we've been visiting other countries to find out how they deliver high quality health care. Fewer people dying from cancer shorter waiting times. We've been talking to doctors and nurses in France, Germany and Australia, listening and learning. And what's clear is that in other countries, patients and doctors have more control and politicians less control. The NHS has more than a million employees. It can't be run by politicians from their desks in London. The more they centralise power, second-guessing the professionals on the ground, the worse the situation gets. Yesterday the government showed that it has a closed mind on the subject. It believes it has nothing to learn from others. It thinks that simply increasing taxes and spending on the NHS 
will solve the crisis. I'm afraid it won't. What we need is change. We have an open mind about how we can make things better. Improving the NHS so that we can be proud of its performance, not just of its action, is the country's biggest challenge and my top priority. I'm interested in what you think. Please write to me at Conservative Central Office, 32 Smith Square, London, SW1P3HH. Or log on to our feedback form on www.conservatives.com forward slash budget. Thank you for listening. Good night. That was a budget response from Shadow Chancellor Michael Howard. Nudity. The attraction is as old as mankind. In 20th century Vienna, Sigmund Freud unmasked the dominant influence of sexuality in our everyday lives. And now in the 21st century, television tries to boost its ratings with suggestive and arousing program trailers. Happily, some programs will never stoop so low. Evening. Have I got news for you. New series starts tomorrow at 9 on BBC One. Bringing the good old times back to life. Peace and quiet. <laughs> Their father and son, both doctors. But can they be partners? A brand new series starring James Bolan and Michael French. Welcome home, son. Born and Bred starts Sunday at 8 on BBC One. Beautiful. Cheeky. We've never had it so good. Robert Redford is a jail warden with a mission. Film drama with Brew Baker in an hour on BBC One after Question Time with David Dimbleby.